The easiest way to destroy a sensitive component is to pass an excessive current through it. All you need to do is to exceed its voltage tolerance and get the microcircuit tracks to blow just like a fuse. You don't need so many volts to do it either. A metal oxide silicon field effect transistor or MOSFET can be damaged with just what, 20 misplaced volts causing an electrical current to go where no electrical currents were meant to go. The problem is that just combing your hair can generate several hundred volts. If you have a nylon carpet, silk tie and a color TV set in the same room for example, then tens of thousands of volts are readily available and if you touch the TV screen with your hand, perhaps 40,000 volts is possible. When two insulated items have friction between them, there will be a static charge generated, dragging electrons from one surface and moving them to another does this. Different substances are prone to generating different levels of voltage according to their placement in what is known as the triboelectric scale. It's unfortunate that, uh, for example, stockings are composed of nylon and they sit on skin. Skin and nylon are at opposite ends of this scale. This has caused static discharges from nurses to ignite nitrous oxide gas used to anaesthetize patients. <laughs>
then you may feel nothing, since it is the current that you feel and not the voltage. Components may be destroyed by currents too small for you to even notice. As a matter of interest, I used to work at sites out in this sandy desert in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait where summer temperatures regularly exceeded 50 degrees Celsius, that's 132 degrees Fahrenheit. In such an environment, there is, well, there's just no such thing as an earth connection, since even the very buildings were built on a concrete raft placed on hot, dry sand. It's still not a problem though, the building used steel rods in the concrete and all the equipment was earthed to this same system. Everything was bonded together, even the fence around the site. It became the ground terminal for everything, even the electronic workbench, the generators, the radio mast, antennas, radio equipment and workbench. If everything was at say 100 volts DC potential, then there was still no problem since everything was at the same 100 volts. No destructive current could flow anywhere. OK, now that we've eliminated those static electrical charges from the workbench, we can do a little soldering. Start the next film, My First Joint. <laughs>